Okay, first of all, thanks for coming out today. Um, we're very excited about the season. Uh, this past Saturday, we had a close scrimmage at Auburn, and uh, it's the first time that I've been a part of a, a close scrimmage. Usually, we've done the two exhibition games, but um, really like what we got out of it. It was a chance to go against a, a, you know, an SEC team and just kind of see, see some of the things that uh, we need to work on and uh, saw a lot, a lot of positives. And, and to be honest with you, I saw a lot more positives than negatives. Uh, the things that we need to get better at are things that we can shore up uh, this week. Um, so that was a really a good situation. Uh, Wednesday um, will be kind of a dress rehearsal, and we've got Truman State coming in. Uh, it, it's a fun game for me as a dad because my uh, daughter is a four-year starter for Truman State. So uh, she's been here the last two summers working out with our girls. And uh, so we decided to – I asked her if she wanted to play, and she said absolutely. And, and so it's a chance for my wife and I uh, to see her when we play Truman State on Wednesday. So we're excited about that. And then we'll have a week and a half to prepare for Florida State. We'll open up at Florida State on the 14th. Uh, they're a top 20 team year in and year out. Um, so, uh, again, the, the non-conference schedule is to prepare yourself for a, a really rugged uh, conference schedule. Our, our conference is loaded this year. Um, so we've got some big games in the non-conference. Uh, so we'll open up at Florida State. Uh, and we're going to travel in and play Loyola Chicago, and from there we're going to go out to L.A. and play in a tournament out there. Uh, we've got a, uh, we're going to take a trip in and play at Arizona. So I feel like we've got a good balance between uh, some big-time teams and you know some uh, teams on there that we need to go in and get wins and, and get that good mix, all preparing ourselves for, for conference play. Um, obviously, we're excited about the conference tournament being here this year. I mean, Coach Hass and I would love to have that here every single year. So we're hoping that Birmingham will put on a great show, which I know they will. And it's just a, it's a tremendous opportunity to show off Birmingham and, and to show off what we have here at UAB. Um, our team, uh, we've got two seniors, uh, Miranda Burles. Uh, it will be our second leading three-point shooter from last year. She's only about 5'2", but uh, with our inside presence that we're going to have this year, she's going to be very important to what we do because she's going to stretch defenses with her ability to shoot the three. Uh, Janae Smith is our other senior. She's a 6'2 post. She's a transfer. She sat out last year. She's from Illinois State. Her last year at Illinois State, she averaged about uh, 13 points, eight rebounds. Uh, she gave up a year of her eligibility. This is her third school that she was at. So she came here last year, practiced with us, loses that year. So she gets one year to play at UAB, and I'm sure she's going to make the most of it. She's a great player. Uh, she can score with her back to the basket. Uh, she can face up and shoot the three. So, and she looked great on Saturday. Um, our junior class is, uh, is, is very strong. We've got a couple young ladies out right now, Bianca Bianca Duffelmeyer, who uh, sat out last year due to a shoulder injury, and she's re-injured it again. Uh, we're hoping to have her back in a couple weeks, but she's a great, great guard. Uh, she can shoot the three. She can pass it. She can do a little bit of everything. Uh, Chelsea Black, uh, preseason, first-team all-conference player, uh, has been playing really well. She's just steady. Uh, you can just count on her every day. She brings it every day, uh, is our leader on and off the court for us. So uh, excited about her. Lauren McGraw is another junior. She's a transfer from Memphis, uh, sat out last year, practiced with us every day. Uh, on Saturday, we started her at the three. We've been having her play uh, some four, be a stretch four for us. But on Saturday, we decided with Bianca out uh, to put her at the three. Our post players, uh, Diamond Webb, uh, Brittany Winborn, uh, both are, are, are looking really good inside. Kayla Anderson, one of our starters from last year, tore ACL at the end of last season. Uh, she has still not been released. Uh, but if we get her back, we're really going to have a, a lot of depth at that post position. Um, we've got seven new players. Uh, eight, actually, if you count our transfer from Auburn. But seven new players that we're counting on to play this year. Uh, so. Our first 20 practices have really been important. You know, you always want more practices before that first game. But uh, as of right now, you know, I, I'm pleased where we're at. Uh, I feel like the kids have bought in after uh, 
going into our second year, the chemistry's been great. Uh, we, you know, we just stress, like all coaches do, that you got to bring it every day in practice. You're going to play games the way you practice, and I feel like our girls have bought into that. We've had you know, a few bad practices here and there, but I think you could count them on one hand. And usually they'll regroup and come back and have several back-to-back uh, -back practices in a row. So um, with that being said, I'll open it up if anybody's got any questions. But again, we're excited about this season and, and our young ladies that we have. Have you ever coached against one of your kids? I know all your kids play basketball. Have you ever coached against one? And will it be tough to not cheer for? Well, I have. Um, when Allie was a freshman at Truman State, her first game was against us at Missouri. And so at that particular time, when we had scheduled that, Allie had already committed to play for us at Illinois State. So she was going to play for us at Illinois State. Then I took the job at Missouri. She wanted to be closer to Mizzou. She wasn't in a, a Big 12 player at the time. Now they're SEC. But, um, so she went to Truman State. And uh, it worked out great. We beat him by 30, and she had 14 points. So she played really well, and we won the way we were supposed to. And, you know, that's how I'd like it to work out again. I, I always want my kids to play their best. But, you know, once you get between the lines, I'm focusing on my team. Uh, she's focusing on playing her best. And, and now, instead of a freshman, she's a senior. She's a veteran. So it'll be fun. Most importantly, we get to see her. So. Coach, second year, is, it, is everything a little bit easier just from an administrative standpoint, just coming in and kind of knowing the, your surroundings? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if it's easier, but it, it's uh, definitely better than that first year because every, you're just learning how everything works, all the policies and different things at UAB. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you're trying to re-recruit the players um, that you had. We didn't get in here in time to really bring anybody in, and so uh, we're – We've got players looking at us. Sometimes I, I ask them, do I have four eyes? Because I'd be talking to them, and they're looking at me like I, they had no idea what I was talking about. But it definitely, that second year, and, and I'm sure Coach Hass will tell you the same thing, each year just gets a little bit better. Uh, the kids start to get used to you, your terminology, your system, uh, just how we're going to go about our business every single day, how we expect them to act on and off the court, all those things. And, you know, until you get those things in order, it's really hard to be successful on the court. I just think all those little things all play a huge part in being successful. But uh, yeah, year two is it's been a smooth. It's been smoother. Um, again, the, we've been around the players. Uh, you know, we had them all last season. Then we had them in the spring. Had them in the summer, the fall. So it's a little bit different than it, it used to be when you couldn't be with them in the summer. So that that's been an advantage for us. Okay, thank you.